Hello dudes, welcome to another video of database learning series. In this video we will understand about data, mo data model. Well, so let's start with the model itself. What is a model? Well, so let's consider example or generally it happens in our IT sector. What happens is when a company develops a software, the client doesn't get it tested from the same company it gives the software to test to another company so that the another company will not be biased about the development right so uh, and even in the same company uh, different different sectors are maintained and testing team are well trained to not to be biased okay so now the another company is testing it okay and if the half development is going and half it has to be tested i mean the development and testing are going parallelly then in that case if you have a standard to follow if both the company know that standard is being followed for this development then it will be easier for testing right so this is where model come into the picture when we follow a model as standard it becomes easier to communicate between two development team okay so that's why we follow a rad model for software development okay so that's that's how model help us so here database uh, in database we have data model like how we store data how the logically data is organized in our system okay so data model is basically logical organization of data or logical structure of data okay and it is a well entity to introduce abstraction okay so let's note down the point for data model here it is uh, it tells you about logical structure okay and it introduces abstraction okay introduces abstraction and then database model also tells you how the data is processed and stored processed and stored inside the system okay so this is all the responsibility of database model okay now we have three kind of database model three types three types okay the first one is hierarchical model the second one is network model and the third one is our whole concern for this study is relational model okay so we have three kind of data model hierarchical model uh, network model and relational model so we will understand it one by one so let's start with hierarchical model well so the our concern is hierarchical model here hierarchical model has tree like structure tree like tree like structure okay so here one parent parent may have multiple child okay one parent may have multiple child but the child will have only one parent only one parent okay the child will have only one parent fine so let's understand it for example if we have a department okay this is department okay so here this is department number this is name okay another we will have some tree like structure okay 
so we will go like this we have tree like structure and here we have again courses offered by department courses offered by department courses will have number itself will have name and will have unit okay again this is student 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 will have number or ID you can say whatever like ID and name and the course course what course it is taking then again course will have professors list so this is professor ID prof professor ID and then this is name well so the data is organized in tree like structure okay so this is all hierarchical all about this is hierarchical model okay so the data will be organized in tree like structure tree will have I mean a child will not have multiple parent okay but the parent will have multiple child so this is basically one many relationship okay this is one many relationship the next one is network model network model okay so hierarchical model was the first data model introduced and it was proposed by IBM then the network model came into picture here the main difference is like it will be a graph like structure okay so once we say that it is a graph graph like structure so the parent may have multiple child and the child may have multiple parent so child may have multiple parent okay so let's draw the same example here it will become like this so we have this is department I will not draw it full this is department this is student okay all the fields are there all the fields are there now we have here uh, courses and we have here we have uh, professors so this parent may have connection with this this two this data is connected with this and this two okay so this is basically network model okay so the mo only difference was the child may have multiple parent uh, and uh, wherein whereas in hierarchical model we have uh, the parent has only one child and child has sorry the parent may have multiple ch child but the child will have only one parent okay so next is our relational model relational model okay this is our main concern for this course we will be going through the relational model only okay so in relational model data is organized in form of table okay data is organized in form of form of two dimensional table okay two dimensional table so we all uh, have some kind of idea if you use mysql or uh, oracle all these we have two uh, data is stored in table so here we have relationship among table relationship among tables okay so we will go through this <coughs> in detail in ER diagram here let's draw the same example uh, so this is basically department I'm not drawing fields here 
like this is number this is name okay this is professor this is professor okay professor has number I mean name and all fields okay here we have <coughs> let's draw it full like we have department number and this is course C O course fine so this is department number and course well here we have a course table okay so this is number this is department name department number you can say here there is professor ID and then this is unit okay and here we have student student has ID student has name and course it is taking well so here we have relationship between the tables like this department number should be one of the department number in this table okay so we have relationship here uh, better I draw this in different color uh, let's yes we have relationship here okay this again this course ID should be one of the course in this course table this is basically a uh, this is course table this is course table and this is student table student table okay so again this course has a relationship because this course should be one of this course okay and uh, similarly this student ID okay department number department we have taken well and this uh, professor ID well this professor ID again this will be one of the professor from here okay and uh, well so similar kind of relationship will exist among the table okay so this is our relational model we will be covering all these things in quite detail in the next coming chapters okay so so we covered the different data models we have hierarchical model where the data is organized in tree like structure this was very first model proposed by IBM then we have network model where we uh, uh, where we have we can have multiple parent of a child and the data is organized in graph like structure then we have uh, relational model where the data is stored in two dimensional tables and table will have relation among them uh, which will we will cover that is integrity constraints and all okay so this kind of relationship will exist exist among the table that's why we call it relational uh, model well so I hope you understand it uh, see you in the next lecture thank you